afternoon, everybody. I'm Harvey here at the Boost Creek. This is our dyno. Today we're working on a 15 STI. Uh, take a look over here. We just did a radium search tank in it, but uh, the setup was complete other than our fuel system. And let me talk about it with you by showing you what we did before. Here, let me get rid of where I am now and pull up my baseline. So this baseline was done about a month ago. The customer kindly left his car for us to improve the fuel system because this, this car runs a 3584 Garrett, which is a turbo capable of about 90 to 100 pounds per minute, which is almost a thousand horsepower uh, crane. Um, it came in running quite a bit of boost. You can see 31.9 is the peak boost right there. Um, but when we talk about fuel pressure, us tuners and people who really want to think about it correctly, we talk about it as a facet that we call differential pressure. And differential pressure is a sum of vacuum plus the boost pressure, but essentially it's what it, it, it's doing is it's talking about how much pressure we have across the injector and the manifold. So what we noticed on this pull was the AFRs were perfect. So I believe this car was tuned, well, not perfect, it does lean out just a little bit, but this is like a, a tune that we believe was done in 17. So after all these years, um, uh, this tune looked uh, technically okay as far as air fuel ratio but what I noticed was he was out of fuel on ID 2200 injectors which are 2200 cc injectors these injectors should supply easily 800 um, and then when we looked and mapped out his fuel pressure here you can see his fuel pressure is dropping all the way to 30 pounds a 2200 cc injector at 30 pounds is really only like a, a 1300 cc injector or something like that I, I didn't calculate it but it's really not very good so what we did is, um, and, and then I want to describe to you the fuel system. This had uh, a twin pump hanger with a, a hop switch to kick on the second pump when it saw boost. And what that would do is it would keep two fuel lines that would lie together to the engine. Well, the problem was right here, they were using the stock fuel lines. This was a really beautiful, pristine build, but using the stock fuel line was limiting the amount of pressure getting up here. And also they were two rather small fuel pumps, the Walbro 255s. So what we did is we kept that whole system in there and we just added a Bugatti Veyron pump with the TI Automotive, who used to be Walbro. Uh, they make this, Radiant makes the surge tank, and you can put, I believe, two of those pumps in here. And uh, man, uh, what a difference. Let me show you what we are at now. Um, this turbo really isn't making what I expect out of it, but we're getting somewhere, and I think the customer wants us to be a little cautious. So right now we're still at the same exact boost, about 32 pounds. Uh, maybe I'm going up a little bit at the end. I believe they were closing the throttle uh, up at the right end here. It, uh, but check out the fuel pressure down here. This is just solid, perfect differential pressure. And if you look at it as raw fuel pressure, even below there, you can see it's holding 87 pounds here. So basically at the injector, we're seeing 55 pounds of fuel pressure across it. And the interesting thing is right here, we're making uh, almost 80 horsepower more a little bit richer, but now we're only at 70% injector duty cycle. So let's do another pull to show you uh, that, that this is a solid setup and that we love it.